Good morning. We are here with Mr. Nizar Hani at the Shuf Cedar Reserve. Can you please tell us a little bit about the reserve and your project? I am the science coordinator of the reserve. The Al Shuf Cedar Nature Reserve was declared as a protected area in 1996 and also designated as a biosphere reserve in 2005 through UNESCO uh, Man and Biosphere Reserve uh, Program. The reserve is the largest nature reserve in Lebanon, covers 5% of the Lebanese uh, territory, extends from uh, on, the, on the Mount uh, Lebanon from north uh, Dahr al-Baydar to Niha in the, in the south. Also, also the, res the reserve is the globally limit south of Cedros Libani and it is an IBA, important bird uh, area. We are going to implement the management plan of the reserve through five programs. We have the ecotourism program, the awareness program, the research and monitoring program, the capacity building program, and the rural development program. Can you talk to us a little bit about your uh, program, like more detailed? Sure. The, the, the major activity and the major program in the reserve is the ecotourism uh, program. We have four entrances. The visitor can in the reserve through uh, them. The, the main attraction, the, the natural and heritage attraction in the reserve is the cedar forest and cedar trees. Uh, we have here uh, about 610 hectares of cedros uh, Nibani. We have a lot of activities, hiking, a lot of activities with students, awareness activities, uh, walking, uh, bird watching, animal observation. Uh, etc. And uh, the new of the of the ecotourism program in the region, we established some bed and breakfast. The, the the visitors of the reserve now can walk for two three days in the, in the region and stay in the bed and breakfast where the people serve the the, the visitors and they can uh, eat the traditional food and the and they can buy all the traditional products that made by the women uh, that live surrounding the, 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 the reserve. We established two in the region, kind of atelier for, for, for these women to work uh, on them. All these products made without chemicals, without, without any other uh, substances. We know that you have been working with many NGOs and uh, you have won some awards. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Uh, sure, all the activities in the reserve uh, are doing by cooperation with the several uh, uh, partners, international, regional and local uh, partners, NGO, donors, uh, etc. We have a lot of cooperation with Italian uh, institutions, with the Italian uh, international, Italian cooperation. In, in Lebanon now we are, we are working to uh, establish a big project uh, to, together and also the Minister of Environment in Italy and the Municipality of Rome uh, gave us last year the Kyoto Prize which is an important uh, prize. Uh, this, is some, uh, this is kind of cooperation at the regional level and sure we have a lot of cooperation with IUCN, with, with several donors, USA, AFD, Française de, de Développement and others. The, the Italian cooperation is trying to, to, to help us, you know, the fundraising in, in, in Lebanon is difficult for the, for the environment and the protection activities. We are, we are, we are trying to write that proposal to, together to support the ecotourism program, to support the protection activities in the, in the region, to support that link and that cooperation with the locals that live surrounding the, the, the reserve, like the idea of bed and breakfast and these uh, products uh, that you can see on the reserve uh, uh, entrances. And also so to exchange knowledge and to exchange experience with the, with the Italian uh, Biosphere Reserve and the Italian protected areas there. And also, six, seven years ago, we have a twinning ship with, with the national park in Italy named Serente Velino National Park there. Can you please tell us how it's going with the sustainability of the reserve? The sustainability, this is the key question of the protected areas in general and especially in, 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 in Lebanon. Uh, it's difficult to uh, have economic sustainability of, or, or, or sustainable management of the protected area here, especially after the last war, the Israeli attack of, of Lebanon. 
the main income of the protected area here, the, uh, the visitors' fees or the visitors' con contribution. We receive at the normal year 30, 35,000, but unfortunately, in 2006, the number decreased, and after the we, we started that, that problem after the assassination of uh, Prime Minister Rafi al Hariri and the Israeli attack to, to Lebanon. Last year, 2007, we received only 14,000. 14, and uh, really, we need that stability in the political situation in Lebanon to increase the visitor number because uh, the, 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 the income of, from, from those visitors are the main uh, revenue, the main revenue uh, of the reserve to have uh, sustainable management. I think now in, in Lebanon and especially in the protected areas, we, we need kind of uh, solidarity uh, tourism. We invite all the people from the region, from, from Lebanon, to come and to visit the protected areas and to contribute in the management uh, uh, for, and the staying of these protected areas. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.